bet you've never seen this before. A video released by SpaceX shows a spectacular rocket's eye view of a recent mission from launch to landing. The footage, shot in clear conditions on January 3rd during the company's 200th mission, shows a Falcon 9 rocket launch from Cape Canaveral in Florida on a flight that deployed satellites for a variety of customers. As usual for a SpaceX Falcon 9 mission, the first stage booster hurtled to orbit before separating from the payload, carrying second stage. The first stage then descended to Earth before performing a perfect upright landing back at Cape Canaveral. Other Falcon 9 missions sometimes involve the booster landing on a barge, waiting in the Atlantic Ocean off the coast of Florida. But what's interesting is that this time we get to see the Falcon 9 launch from a very special angle. While SpaceX regularly livestreams its launches, the camera views provided are limited to a view of the rocket from Earth, an inside view from the second stage's engine and the first stage's top and some cameras installed on the second stage. At this point, a view from the inside of the rocket is shared, with the stream then either switching to the second stage or providing a view from the camera located on the outside of the first stage. But the footage SpaceX shared via Twitter shows the Falcon 9's flight from liftoff to landing through the onboard camera, offering us a great opportunity to fully appreciate the impressive work of the SpaceX engineers who developed the launch and landing process for the Falcon 9, a system that has enabled the company to cut the cost of space missions by using the same boosters as well as other parts of the rocket such as the fairing over and over again. SpaceX CEO Elon Musk himself also shared this video on Twitter with the caption, sped up trip there and back again. The Falcon 9's first stage spent just over 8 minutes in the air, but the video is sped up, compressing the trip into just 90 seconds. Notably, the clip marks a rare moment when the rocket's post-separation maneuvers are visible from an angle that a viewer would find themselves at if they were flying with it on its outside. Kind of like when Spider-Man was hanging on to that spaceship in Infinity War. Anyways, the rocket typically separates while traveling several times faster than the speed of sound, and recent launches have also focused on the stage separation from a land camera. This shows the first and second stages autonomously racing away from each other in a unique sight for a rocket since the Falcon 9's first stage is the only rocket capable of landing and being reusable. Indeed, the booster in this mission was on its 15th flight, having previously supported the launch of GPS-3-3, TurkSat 5A, Transporter 2, and Intelsat G-33 slash G-34 missions, as well as 10 flights deploying Starlink satellites for SpaceX's internet from space service. Other Falcon 9 flights have launched the Dragon spacecraft for cargo and crew missions to and from the International Space Station, and also sent to orbit a specially designed capsule for SpaceX's first all-civilian mission in 2021. Over the years, SpaceX has increased the times it reuses its rockets after conducting refurbishments during pre-planned time durations in their lifetime. Recent launches have also increased the number of times that views from the ground cameras show the first and second stages separating from each other. This often shows both of them surrounded by the plume of exhaust from the first stage from its engines that ensure it can safely fly away from the second stage. And most recently, SpaceX has successfully completed its second launch for OneWeb, a London-based communications company carrying 40 of the company's small communications satellites into orbit. SpaceX's Falcon 9 rocket lifted off from Cape Canaveral Space Force Station or the CCSFS Launch Complex 40 pad at 11.50 Eastern on Monday, January 9th. The rocket performed perfectly, extending Falcon 9's record-breaking streak to 168 launches since its last failure. Mind you, no rocket in history has launched more times between failures. Flying for the second time in 44 days, Falcon 9 booster B-1076 supported the boost phase of OneWeb's 16th launch, lifting the payload, fairing, and an expendable Falcon upper stage most of the way out of Earth's atmosphere. Traveling about 1.7 kilometers per second at an altitude of 70 kilometers, B-1076 separated from the upper stage and boosted back to the Florida coast. Measuring around 48 meters tall and 3.2 meters wide, the Falcon 9 first stage gently touched down a few miles from where it lifted off at SpaceX's LZ-1 landing pad. According to Next Spaceflight, B-1076 will be converted into a Falcon Heavy Side booster to support Echostar's Jupiter-3 communications satellite launch 
as early as May of 2023. Once in orbit, Falcon 9's expendable upper stage was tasked with deploying 40 new OneWeb satellites in batches of three, wrapping up around 95 minutes after liftoff. Assuming all F-16 satellites are healthy, OneWeb will have 540 working satellites in orbit. Less than a day after deploying 40 OneWeb satellites, SpaceX also conducted its first launch of Starlink internet satellites this year. It's also the first launch of the year from Vandenberg. The mission debuts a brand new Falcon 9 booster designated B-1075, making its first flight to space. The 15-story tall first stage booster fires about two and a half minutes before separating to begin a descent towards SpaceX's drone ship. Just read the instructions in the Pacific Ocean, a few hundred miles downrange from Vandenberg. The 51 Starlink internet satellites on board the rocket will bring the total number of Starlink spacecraft launched to 3,717. Its success marked SpaceX's 163rd landing of an orbital class rocket, an impressive achievement. However, even though it continues to leave viewers in awe with the Falcon 9's impressive record of conducting more than 200 launches, all eyes this year when it comes to SpaceX will be on something else. SpaceX is developing its Starship rocket in Texas, through which it aims to take the crown from NASA for flying the world's largest rocket. NASA's SLS launched the Orion spacecraft for the agency's historic Artemis 1 moon mission. Orion flew more than a million miles as part of its journey, as it also set the record for the longest distance flown by a spaceship designed for humans before returning to Earth in December. So far, SpaceX has been periodically testing the second stage engines for Starship, with some tests of the first stage's engines also taking place. These are part of its efforts to conduct a highly anticipated orbital test flight. But with Starship yet to perform crucial tests, such as a wet dress rehearsal and a full static fire of the first stage, Super Heavy Booster's 33 engines, it still has a long way to go. Once it completes all of these tests as well as receive the launch permit from the FAA, Starship's maiden orbital flight will lift off from Starbase. SpaceX's CEO Elon Musk recently said that his team has a real shot for the launch mission in late February and that another attempt in March is highly likely. However, Musk's prediction must be taken with a pinch of salt as always because SpaceX has so far failed to launch the rocket on several deadlines that its CEO has set ambitiously. This has been Kevin with Great SpaceX, and if you enjoy what my team and I are doing, you can become a patron through our Patreon link in the description below. Otherwise, as always, my team and I will see you next time.